टुडे अलोंग विद मी यू विल ऑल्सो गेट द बैच फॉर द फेबरी मंथ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू दिस विल बी द टेंथ बैच स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लास्ट ईयर टिल टुडे एंड हार्टेस्ट कंग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु हैव बीन एसोसिएटेड एंड लर्निंग एंड ग्रोइंग अलॉन्ग विद मी विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स मूव मॉन्ट टू द क्वेश्चन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू डे ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ एवरी लीड कोड चैलेंज एंड दिस इज द लास्ट डे ऑफ द चैलेंज द क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इन टूडे इज समरी रेंजेस here in this question we are given sorted unique integers array what we need to do we need to return the smallest sorted list of ranges that cover all the numbers in this array if we go by the example then here the input array is given to us as 0 1 2 4 5 7 so the first range starts from 0 ends up till 12 as a result of which we have highlighted it in the output as 0 up till 2 moving ahead we have 4 and 5 together so this is the second range where we have added 4 and 5 in our result and the last one is a singular one since it's not a range it's a single element we simply write that element in our output so the final output becomes 0 2 4 5 and 7 without further ado the question seems pretty simple and straightforward we will be using the two pointer approach to actually code it up So let's quickly move on to the presentation and let's conclude. Summary ranges, lead code two to eight. It's an easy level question on lead code, and I totally feel the same. So let's get started. Here we have two pointers, one acting as a start one, another one for iterating over the input array. So what do we do? We check whether the element at the ith index and the element at the i plus one index differ by one unit. Also, it was given in the question that the array is sorted, and so we don't need to be concerned about sorting the array up front. Here you can see the difference happens to be of one unit. As a result of which, we increment the pointer of i. I points to here. Now again, we check if the difference between the element at the ith index and i plus one index happens to be equal to one. Yes, it is. We increment the i pointer. Now again, moving ahead. we check whether the difference between the i plus 1 element and the ith element happens to be 1 it's not 1 it's 2 4 minus 2 happens to be 2 it's not 1 as a result of which you have successfully identified one successful range what is that range it starts from 0 ends up till 2 as a result of which you add 0 hyphen 2 into your result pretty awesome and straightforward going ahead what do you do you update your start pointer Two i plus one. So start now points to this particular location, and i also points to this particular location. Let's get started. Again, we'll do the same thing. We'll compare i and i plus one. So both of them differ by one unit. We'll move ahead. Again, we will do the same thing. I and i plus one here it differs by two units. As a result of which you have identified the second range. It starts from four, ends up till five. so you add it in your result 4 arrow 5 again you do the same thing since it's a range reset what do you do you update your start pointer to i plus 1 so start now points to here i also points to here since you have exhausted the entire array and start and i both points to the same location here in this case we simply add that element up so 7 gets added so there are two cases that you need to take care of when i and s eventually land up to the same position where there is only single element you need to add that element otherwise it's a range then you have to appropriately build your sub answer string as the first one acting as a start index and the last one acting as the end index to conclude it further let's quickly have a look at the coding page here i've created the answer string that is list of strings and in case my answer dot length happens to be 0 i simply return the array list in case my length happens to be 1 i simply add the singular element and return it back otherwise i go and use a two pointer approach i have created start as 0 and i again points to 0 till the time my i is less than nums dot length minus 1 and nums of i plus 1 happens to be equal to nums of i plus 1 in that case i keep on incrementing my ith pointer otherwise i need to i have found out a range that actually needs to be added in my result i created the sub answer list if my start and i points to the same location 
that means i i need to add that singular element as part of my sub answer and sub answer is equal to nums of start otherwise i go ahead and create the range which starts from nums dot start arrow nums dot end i will signify nums dot end once i'm appropriately build it up i add it to my answer result i reset my start for the next iteration to y plus 1 and i also points to the same location so let's try this up awesome it's 14 milliseconds and it's 8.75 times faster uh, the time complexity of this approach is order of n and i don't feel it's too bad and the space complexity is again order of n this brings me to the end of today's session and i hope you enjoyed it along with this we have successfully got the batch for the february month we haven't missed out any day in the entire month not even in february but starting may 2021 approximately these 10 months we have solved each and every question and i thank you for this entire journey that we have completed so far and looking forward to more milestones ahead